So Mary I'm was previously approved in December for this one. Hi, Mary. Wherever you are. We can't see you, Mary. That's on purpose. When I'm ready, are, are you up for me? Yeah, we're ready for you. Oh, all right. I thought I was, I thought I was second. No, you're actually first. Okay. All right. So this is what was approved. I'm just showing what was last approved. All right. You know what? If you let me share my screen, I have everything. Okay. Well, I'm going to give This is the new plan. That was. Oh. What, oh, are we okay? Did I do that? No, no. I just. No, it's well, I it. oh, it's just All right. Out. Like Can you see? Yeah, like a, but you know, it's just that that funny bone. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna survive. It's just right. that funny bone. Yeah. <laughs> um. You okay? Is it? Yeah. It is, that was you? No, I thought I pushed it down. <laughs> I pinched your finger or something. <laughs> Um, so that was the approved plan from December, and this is Sorry, our revised guys. plan. <laughs> okay, so I'm sharing my screen. Yep. Um, so this is the existing house. Um, what I wanted to show you was... Uh, all right, so this is what was approved. So the clients decided, well, as long as we're doing this, why don't we do this side as well? So, you know, originally we were following the existing roof line, which was lowered. What they're requesting now is to bring it up to the ridge height, put in skylights here and basically make another loft space on this side. So, in terms of the front, it's going to look relatively the same except for this raised roof line and the skylights um, in the back. So you haven't started anything yet? Yeah, they have. Well, they started this part because. Oh, they, they did. Yeah. So, okay. so this is all built. Uh huh. And this is. <laughs> well, it's approved. Yeah. Right. So um, in the back then this would be kind of continuing a dormer to the left side, which before it was this. Um, so, and also a couple of things. This was a roof. And as long as we built out and they saw how cool it looked, they wanted to put a balcony here and because they're spending so much money on other things, they're changing this to a shingle roof, which is what the house has now, instead of the metal roof. So they're going to have a peak with metal on one side and shingles on the other? No metal. No, no metal. Uh, no metal anywhere. No metal what anywhere. About, what does right. the front elevation look like? Can you go back so the front the elevation is oh, 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 So it's all shingles. <clears throat> Skylights on both sides. But, uh, <clears throat> and, look nice, yeah. With a with a funky windows, metal would look nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're hoping. <laughs> so that's that's basically the uh, <clears throat> the change. And the sides, can you believe this? The sides. So here. So this is the. For some reason, mine's not going over, but. Um, here's the, the, the proposed side that we had with the balcony and then the other side, which will be the same kind of dormer roof with a, um, you know, that we looked at making this window, should it follow this pitch, it looked terrible. So we decided to just keep this pitch, repeat it, and have it centered. And this is on the driveway side. No, it's OK. It's disappointing the metal roof, but you know. You know, it's just so freaking expensive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like the angles in the other. It's fine. But 
Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good evening. Bye bye. 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 I think you guys have rejected everything the last week when I wasn't here. These are old. <laughs> Uh, no, so number two, number two is only... just a return. Yeah. Number only... one and number three were previously approved and just made revisions. Right. There are only three left. Yeah. Yeah. Two last time. Two oh, it was left. only two last time. And so you we have, no, this one's coming oh, back. The second one is coming back. This is this is here. Three. No, right. these two were approved. This was a return. This is the last wrong. Oh. Hi. Hello. So Hello. these are his revised products. Right. Should we do that on this side? Um, we do it on that side only because of the camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the board has suggested a shed roof. Or transom over the garage door below the balcony area and add a full side lights on each side of the front door. So my name is Nick Faustini. We're presenting the application for 778 on this road. Um, at the last meeting, there was some recommendations about um, alterations to the exterior facade. I'll just flip through the pages. Um, well, we proposed those recommendations to alter the front door. Um, so we proposed um, a double door at the front door. It's currently just a single 36 inch door, and that'll be two 36 inch doors. Um, the intent was to try to create more openings on the exterior facade. We've also introduced um, additional windows on the second floor to complement some of the existing smaller windows that were in the existing house. Um, and the front elevation was altered. Um, there was some concerns about the heaviness of the brick above the garage door. So we just put some transoms above the garage door to try to lighten up that, that ceiling. We've also put the trim board underneath the canopy to again reduce the amount of brick. Um, these are the two smaller windows that were in question. So we, instead of making them like stand out as being smaller, we've added more of so the similar size window to seem, make it seem more purposeful. Um, what was absent in the last rendering was there are two significant trees in front of the house, um, which I believe helps soften the facade as well. So we just tried to convey that here with some screen imagery. Um, the garage doors were proposing um, windows at the top of the garage doors and then transoms above called the stained wood material um, to help offset or contrast against the painted white brick. We've also added, I'm sorry, that's the double door that was added. Um, we've also added another window on the side elevation. It wasn't talked about at the last meeting, but it, it seemed like it made sense um, for the application. And these are just updated plans that correspond with these changes. Again, I just sketched on the rendering so you can see the difference. These are like two significant trees that I mentioned. They were shown as like dwarf our varieties on our rendering, but did try to convey like they do soften the facade. So those two trees are about here. Double door, the transoms with the windows and the additional windows that we have. This is massive. You guys are okay with the massive? Well, can you we can you bring that rendering down here because we can't. Or I'll come up and. No, or. Yeah. Put it up on. Sorry, bring it over here. Can I bring it over here? Sure. There was a call garage project here. Yeah, it's kind of a. It's plain. It's a small compact. Well, it's a square footage thing you're adding. Um, I believe it's a 900 square feet of habitable space over the garage. 
And on the other side also. Yeah, yeah. So it's broken up. So it's 450 there, 450 there. And then garage. All right. All right. I can flip back to the exterior elevation if you like. No, I think the 3D makes it a little clearer what's in and out. The, the 2D elevations look so flat. Uh, yeah, my mind is very much on the side. What was the previous hmm? location? Minus 100. Minus 100. Minus 100. Minus 100. The changes on it was we have two windows here. Yeah, did you guys not have any comments? I don't mean it's at the apple cart because I missed it. He wasn't here. But, but you know, the, the roof lines are just massive. I think we did. I think we just don't. Yeah. I think it's massive. It looks like an apartment. I mean, you know, you're keeping the same roof all the way across and those two little peaks, but your effort to break up this enormous, you know, monotonous roof, and I don't think it's successful. Um, yeah. yeah, I think we did talk about it a little. And then we did Garage is so prominent now. I, yeah, I don't think the transoms, I know we suggest, but I don't think they're working. But part of it was to. My, my main build concern this, was the. the build this space where's, the, where's the garage now? Where's the, the garage void, door in the existing house? That's that above the, the garage, the garage doors in the original. Mm -hmm. why, yeah, why there's too much space. But it's, it's, it's very small. It's, it's very it's small. small. Almost impossible to try to. And is the entrance on the side though? Yes. It's on the side. Yeah, it's a single garage door. And did you look at opening up some space where that could be a garage on the side instead of two mammoth doors on the, the elevation on the side of the house? So the elevation changes on this side, so there's only enough space for one door. Um, and then on this side, we're up against the uh, retaining wall. Well, you're spending a fortune on the house. I mean, they couldn't cut back the earth to a retaining wall and get two doors in. We're also adding a, a master suite addition, basically an expansion of the master suite. So the, the, the doors, that, the garage that's under the master suite is assisting us with the volume of the master suite. I just think it's massive. I, I mean, I, I, I'm okay with, with this, but, but to just Robert's point, and I, I don't know if you consider just to break that roof so that it's very like almost like a, a sketch, it's very two dimensional almost. Would it be, uh, did you consider to maybe have that central original part a little bit higher, like raise the roof so that you have the symmetrical two parts lower, kind of like it was in your original, but maybe less pronounced, and then just raise the, the central roof was that considered or maybe so the main part way. of the house this this is all existing they're not touching right so right no i understand was, but just um, was to keep the existing house unchanged and then mm -hmm. add to the house and what is what is under that roof is that the roof, the ceiling of the second floor yeah well it's the attic space and the ceiling of the second floor. yeah so just yeah. um the roof is articulated it sets back three times so it's not the same roof plane that continues all the way across it reads like that though. yeah i guess well you can't tell from yeah so if you look at the roof plan yeah maybe you can show us the, the plan maybe that's mm. just a mention looks like it's a one foot This set, this roof plane is set back further. This is an existing set back roof plane. And then this is what we're proposing. Right, on the left, it's just a, a complete extension of the same thing. Right, so there is no magical, uh, you know, difference between the. I was wondering even if you had like something flat or something decorative around it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember my comments. No, I'm just wondering on the sides and maybe I'm just throwing something in the floor. If there were flat roofs and had some side trays or some, I don't know, something architecturally, but to me, the roof bothers me the, the most. Yeah. I mean, I, I would raise it a little bit, but I understand that. Yeah, like here, you're trying to keep the cost on the Would you raise one of the, so. I mean, that would be that. 
Well, they don't want to change this. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the size. See, I, it's not have enough space. I, like, I cannot stand, you know. Like, no, well, you can't really go higher. Yeah. I mean, steeper. Yeah, yeah. So, then it would be a much nicer. So, where is this? Well, they're adding this. This is like a whole new room. Right? It's, it's an expansion of the existing master suite. No, no, but I'm saying, but this part of the house is all new construction, right? The left here? Yeah, over the garage. Yeah. So, you know, when you that, you know, um, right, that would flatten it as the house trees around it, like the garage does with that. Make the horizontality now look so horizontal. Um, can we go back to the rendering? Is that just going to be near and here and would be, I don't know, a small scale? You know, what, what pop maybe instead of doing this pop a gable pop a shed pop or something well that's what i'm thinking have, have an eyebrow do something mm -hmm. change that, that so they're yeah. not symmetrical i think there was somebody at home that's last time that would make suggestions like that um should be we, we can you can blame me you know? yeah. no, I, was right. here, I, I wasn't here last time i, I mean i don't i don't remember what my comments were you weren't here it was last week yeah, you are here. You sure? Yeah. I thought I've seen this before. No. no. Well, so unless you saw it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this, is, this, is their, this is their second time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this is such, a sad, yes. is okay. such a, a, a sad effort that, I mean, I must think the horizontal is better. Okay. So now, now, now I can. No, you can make it. Yeah, I'm the rear element. Oh, this is the rear. Which, which takes this away on this side, frankly. Well, I, I love yeah, it. I mean, I don't, there, I don't love the symmetry. Well, the symmetry needs to be more now that everything is underlined, but with a horizontal line. And it's, it's yeah. symmetrical, but. I mean, it, it reads like a massive. Unless they set it back. It reads like a massive building. And I think part of it is, it it's the, the, there's a, I guess it's a basement, it's half mm -hmm. underground. So the first floor is raised quite a bit. Um, oh, it's, uh, it's not, it's, it's more than a half. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, and, and I think what's disturbing also is just the, the really tall garage. Um, well, those are transoms which I don't think work now because the, the reason that we had mentioned some doing something like that was because there's- Why, why is the garage so high? It looks like because it, of this, this so, space. This was the just, original. There was just so much space here. This was the So original. we were trying to figure out how to. Why don't you push this down? What's above the garage door? Does this garage have a 20 foot ceiling? Or? There's a roof. It's the second floor of the. It's the second floor frame. So there's a second floor above this space. Above the garage? Yeah. With no windows? What, what is it? This is the second floor. It's set back. Right. Your, your second floor on the interior is not the second floor of the roof. It should drop down just for um, just so common construction. It's certainly the balcony. It's doing or the right. walk out of it. Right. I mean, you could, you, you could draw. I mean, I, it's just one suggestion. You could drop it and have cascading steps down from the. Oh, so the balcony. Yeah. So just, just for the whole purpose of lowering that mm -hmm. massive. Uh, that, that was my main concern <clears throat> was that, that the void that. that that was created when they're trying to get that balcony, balcony all the way up to the yeah because the, tra the transoms almost. don't work it makes it look like just tall garage doors yeah it's, it's, it's almost it a, it's exactly almost a two-story garage yeah. the, the sconces you put there are, are way too high um so it, it then if i were to drop that balcony then it won't line up with the other two would that Still be, I think that's okay, that's okay because, because that would actually break up. Yeah. The it's a mass that is so it's like right off the street, it's and it's what a good 20 feet in front of the house. Um, I don't think it has to relate to that other balcony. I think by forcing it, you've made it look um extremely massive. Well, well the first, symmetry isn't helping, it makes it look very massive, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, if there, if there is some way to you know, I know you don't want to raise the existing roof, but maybe you could add a, a, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing ideas out of faux gable over the entrance to really signify that's the center of the house. And then all these other things, maybe you don't need the gables here, or maybe you just drop them down 
a little bit more and have, you know, still have your, looks like you have a cathedral ceiling in there. You could still have a very tall ceiling. Um, yeah, there's just there's something that looks, the, the sheer amount of wall going up in your, the tiny windows, and I understand you, that's the hand you're given with the existing windows, but um, it doesn't help. I mean, maybe a different paint color, subtle different paint color between the brick and the clabbered might help too, just to break it up. I'm not sure materials would change. Maybe not having the same material all the way across it. This is brick and this is siding. I mean, that might break down. Well, that is brick. No, I know, but, so, but the wings are, you know, they're, yeah. it's not like it's different materials. If you have essential material and then something. It's so apparently that side's brick. Yes. Okay, so that's, you're not doing anything to the facade of this. This is existing brick. Right? Yeah. Brick existing. So again, yeah, this is all existing. This uh -huh. is the new part. Right. And that's it. Or maybe the garage so thing it doesn't have to be correct. And the garage being so big, maybe, maybe that would be side. softer if it was higher. Yeah. With the balcony drop down. And dropping the balcony, are you thinking three steps? Well, is this, a, is this a busy road? It's Armand Road, but this is set back of well over 100 feet from the road. It's yeah. about 150 feet. Yeah. <laughs> What's Armand? Uh, there are trees at the front of the house. Oh, no. One twenty eight. I don't think from you guys not, you know, just leave it. You know, I don't think that's a successful gesture. I almost think it was kind of Well that's so, if if you did some got rid of those two, created something bigger here, um, just as an overbuilding. So you're not changing the structure. Um, and again, I don't know if it's an overbuilt gable or an overbuilt dormer or just something to give more presence to the to the center mass there and, and diminish everything that's over on the sides, do something with the garage to bring that way down. Um, I was questioning whether it even makes sense to have a, a, a terrace on, on a busy road, but you said you're far back. I mean, there's just the fundamental problem is no matter what you do, if you say you have to have your balcony that high, your garage is gonna be 20 feet high or 16, 17 feet high, which is it's massive. Um, and it just looks like a fire station. You know, it, it kind of reaches commercial proportions. Um, and, and you want the balcony on the front of the house, is that right? Yeah, that's uh, not just because the garage is there. No, oh, the better view. It's, it's basically the, the master is set back towards the rear. And the um, also keeping the volumes. I can bring the volume up and up forward. So the map is set back in the front the front facade. Okay. Um, oh, so there's no first floor really below the garage. No, it's just the garage itself. I mean, would you would you want to that's the master setback from the front stuff. Right, I see. I think it's going to be a little bit now. Yeah, that's, would that be but in the two the garage? garage yeah, yeah, but they have a master suite with the sitting room and the master bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. They'd be on two different levels. Is the view to the back as nice as the view to the front, or is the view nicer to the front? Both are nice. I mean, you got a roof here, could you get it? Terrace out here for the master instead of here. And this is also a patio at the back, and if we extend it to the towards the back, it's going to um, take over most of the patio. Is mm -hmm. it over? No, 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 I'm just saying over. Is there what? what how high is this roof here? Yeah, the roof over that rear door. Yeah, you have a roof here. Could that be flat? Could that be a terrace coming out? And wouldn't be something so massive in the front? This is a small roof. It doesn't extend all the way. Yes. Yeah, well, it looks like it's 11 feet by 6 feet. Even yeah, though it's not a balcony. I mean, if you made it all across, that's one thing. Yeah. Um, general preference is to the balcony in the front. Um, but if we were to lower it, let's say, by two additional steps, 
So that side patio is, is used more than the rear patio. The side. corner, the corner terrace is used more than that one. Um, they're both used. They're both existing. We're using the side ones to use to get through the garage to the mudroom to get into the house. There's no direct access from the garage to the house. Do you want direct access? I mean, I think if you're going through all of this, you want to go. The living room is our only option. The, they, we didn't want to disturb that patio on the back. That's where we're staying away from it. The new addition. And the balcony of the bedroom is 26 feet by 12 and a half. I feel like want something so gigantic. This Could is it, the owner. Yes. Are you the owner? <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, <laughs> okay, so good. Do you want, or, or is that just because that's the dimension of the garage and so you took it off? I thought that we can use that space, you know, as a balcony. Maybe half of it, maybe if it was half as wide, which is still pretty deep, maybe the garage you know, can be stepped up and they not even make steps because I guess it is not like half of steps from the bedroom into the terrace. Okay. Get a shower and the garage could come down with that help. Yeah. Yes, to, to excavate, you mean? Yes. Yeah, but no, 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 the garage would come down. Well, the garage is so high, I think, because they want this. The balcony floor to be the same elevation of the bedroom, right? Yes. Which, which can stand something, yes. you know. So I'm just saying if, if, if it didn't come out as far, you cut back, you could drop the garage to a normal garage height, then you'd have to step up to the balcony, but it would soften a bit as opposed to having the garage doors and the garage front be so good. It's a nice thing about the balcony coming down as it breaks up that hole. But isn't it better if, if both of the balconies are at the same level? Yeah. The is like, no, it's, no, it's not a strong. So. It's not a strong composition. Um, I mean, one is basically a, a line of fence, and the other is three sides of, of railing on top of a garage. I mean, the terrace and railing is not going to save the height of the garage and, and mask that. I think there's got to be some way to, to, to even with a step down. You're saying. Right. I mean, I'm I'm just thinking. Just you still have the the massing. It's just you're just scooting back. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, could could eight foot this could this bedroom longer. drop two feet and then have a two foot drop in the master and shove this back two feet and maybe make the garage a little smaller. So I don't know. The the addition on the right side is over an existing uh, floor, so that's our um, we were we didn't move it back because we were trying to preserve the patio work that was done a few years ago. So we were to that. Um, no, we're gonna have to it's a big ambitious project. You get a beautiful spaces on the inside, but the house on the outside looks so massive, I and mean, even think for at some point you leave, you want to resell it. You know. That's suggested that um, you extend the like, uh, just kind of the steps. That's, yeah, I think that would. I think that would break up. up. I mean, I just have to come on. You know, this is not going to be. You have to do the steps. Can't do on the inside. The thing is that you understand that the yeah, that volume of this is too. Like, that was said that it's almost like a commercial scale or so yeah if you could just wait maybe it would be easier for you to sketch it actually on the one that you don't have the transom uh, because that would be more realistic to the scale that we all to get the old one you have the old one because that want to be yeah this you want to do it flat so if I scaled it back, say two feet would be, if I dropped it down two feet, it would be here. And here. Right. And maybe with some detail, trim detail, in, in the, the, um, it, would, it would read a little bit smaller, but that's... Oops. I think so. You have basically kind of four parts to the building. You have the, the main center part. Maybe treat the one to the left and the new part to the right as part of a kind of a symmetrical. 
composition, get rid of the gable on the right. Think about dropping the master floor a couple feet. Think about dropping the garage another couple of feet. And then when you walk out of the master, you have a series of large cascading steps. So it doesn't feel like you're stepping out. So you could have a landing because you're way wide enough and bring that garage way down. Because the other thing is south is to the left. So you're going to get a huge shadow coming across your front. And that's just going to be dead um, space between the garage and the house. It's never going to get sun in that very corner. So I think what, what, so what you do if you drop that whole, because I understand you can't drop the mass on the right, drop the mass on the left, make everything to the right of, of the garage look like a single composition and everything to the left look like something added, something different, something dropped. Including the roof line, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Drop the, drop the roof drop line. The, but okay. how, how does that work on the inside? I'm not sure, but that's, you know, for you to, to so, figure out. I think, I think, you know, working inside to make the inside work and just the outside is whatever it is, is not, you have to go back and forth. I think you just kind of ignored what that looks like. And it's like, oh, it's, you know, the garage is 17 feet tall because the floor is there. We'll think about dropping that down. I think for several reasons. One, it doesn't look so massive. I don't like garages, you know, being the most prominent element on, on the facade. Um, and I think, um, and, and I think just massive wise, it just drop that mass down and make it, look like it was added onto, but it is something different to the three elements on the right. I think that would help. And, and your job is to make an elegant way to get from the sitting room to the master and not make it feel like um, it's something. So, but, so what I'm saying is drop the master a little bit, drop the terrace a little bit. So then by the time you're at the garage, you're way down. Yeah, but if we drop the master, then it's gonna be a few steps to go to the next room. I, I, it's not going to be a, so. like a, like a flow from yeah. you know, one room to the other. It's going to look. Yeah. The pressure would be to keep the master at the same level. I think we could drop the railing with only permission. Look at dropping the railings. Probably drop the roof line a little bit. Um, or something like that. because it's a nice project and I think you guys are going to uh, enjoy this for a long time. To make a little bit more, to spend a little more time just to, to sketch over how it would look in that front elevation so it's more interesting. Is there a question on grading? Is, is there, you know, because this is all new, is there a way to have the grade be higher here? So again, it's a way of reducing the height of the garage because you're not as low. Be a lot of fill. <laughs> it's a is it's it about a big grade natural feet. grade change? It will be a significant Why? grade change. It's it's so pretty low. Right yeah, right that's the height. That's the height now. Okay, because it looks like you're building a retaining something. I think they um, have just for the. Floor. So I don't know what the natural grade. It looks like the it's nine feet up. The doors are coming forward, and it's and the hill is sloping <laughs> up. So we so can't pick up any elevation here. Seems to us. Not really. We have to bring in fill to do that. What's the sill height height in the in the master? I mean, it's eight. We're imagining this in house. I think the preference would be to keep the master the same. So any any changes would be like on the exterior. Like altering the roof lines. It's a 14 foot interior garage on the outside. It's you know, 15, 16. I'm sorry. They just don't want any steps down no. into the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Could, you, could, you know. could you drop the sill a little bit so the corners are not square like you're doing over here? And then maybe, I, I don't know, maybe adding dormers or large gables there to give you height back. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. But this is more like, difficult. Like right here is um, they are if I drop this still height, I can probably start to reduce this. 
So it drops down. Right. Maybe just at the front and back inside. Probably do that. What if that wasn't a hip? What if it's just a gable end? Yeah. All of the existing rooms are hips. That's why we went with hips. Um, yeah. And we're changing, you know, two yeah. gables where you had hips before. This is going to affect the uh, interior of the house. Like, are they going to be, you know, uh, so for, uh, for the, for this the for this dropped roof line that would reduce the wall heights. Just at the just at the ends. At the end. Not right. where you would be standing, but you still have your cathedral ceiling. Okay. If you made it a gable at the other end, you gain all that ceiling height down at that end. Um, I guess what I'm saying is make the three pieces on the right as one composition. Make the thing on the left, it could be completely different because it is, because you've got this humongous garage on it and, and I want to lower the height and I'd like to make it look so like something different. Um, it shouldn't be brick like everything else. It should be siding or something softer than the main house. You really want it to feel like it's a different piece. Right now, it's all the same. It's just traditional. Yeah. So I, I, I just, you know, I, I, you know, I hear your reasoning of staying with the second floor, staying with the second floor, but that is all at the expense of what the house looks like on the outside. You can just hear all of us are just reacting to the massiveness of it. It's just not elegant. And that's what that's why we're here. We we want to have. Um, it's a two car garage, though. It's not like a three or four. It's, no, it's no, the it's the height. 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 It's, like it, it's matching the you know, rest of the house. Otherwise, it's kind of I, I don't know. I mean, like we like the symmetry that it has with the rest of the house. So it's you know, it looks like a. There's a flow. There's a continuation right, between so the rooms. you can have symmetry, but it, it, it should not really pass in monotonous one big structure. It's not a one big flat surface. But that's... it feels like that. And it will when it's going to be built, because that's how it As long as you convey rather, you know, frequently, how it is going to be done later on. Even if you, we understand that there's a little bit of a difference, but that you can you just saw on the roof line, but the difference is not huge. You know, it's not so bad. That so I think uh, maybe a little bit more uh, like exercising in this. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, with the constraint you have, I understand this side and, and, and trying to maybe keep the same floor or that it has Stanley suggests, like maybe two schemes. So that's the same principle of the the same the same principle of the the same the same the same the same the same the 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 and you will use it the same way, but it will look different on the outside. Do you have renderings of those, like the model, a model rendering, like a 3D model? Just the uh, rendering that we had before, of this one. Yes, can we say that again? I, I marked it up, though. Okay. Um, the one that you, are you showing? We have the 3D computer drawing. We have the color. It's just the well, What about that? It's so one of the, the recommendations in the Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is new. Yeah, no um, one takes this. This is a bathroom. That's a bedroom. I'm sorry, this is a bathroom. This is a closet. Oh, this a closet. is the yeah. existing master suite. Okay. Um, so we just, in this latest iteration, we just created more of those windows mm -hmm. to try to. Yeah, yeah. Bring oh, that's better. But, oh, I mean, even the rendering is not. This, there is a piece here that's that doesn't read. It, that, that all reads is the same thing, but that's actually there's a piece there. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah, it steps back. The, the elevations are, are are not very yeah. drawn. I mean, right. if you put shade and shadow on an elevation, that would help it read better. Yeah. If you did a different angle of sun and shadow here, it might read a little bit better. But every drawing that we're seeing is just one big massive lot, horizontal line right. essentially. Right. So. Um, I think the, I mean, because this, this so steps back right. here, steps yeah, back you can see here, it steps back. Like, I mean, the times. shadow already just gives it a little bit of that. Yeah. All right, I guess we're going to yeah, just go give it some thought that just, just hear what we're saying, that we feel like it's too massive, too uniform, too big, and think about what you could do to offset that. I know the, the, the transom window is above just the, it, it it actually makes that makes no, it look makes commercial. It, look it makes yeah. it look like a commercial like auto garage or something, but um, I mean then what if you let's say you drop the garage I to a ten foot it. structure yeah, it's, it and put three sided <laughs> hips around it but flat at the top so you get a smaller balcony. But you get an E line that's low. Too, you see more yeah, like a massive. Massive. Yeah, kind of like that. It should really maybe explore a little bit more. Um, yeah. Bring that up again, then we can really say. Well, no, well, no, no, but then, but no, no. Yeah. Well, something. Yeah, they try, they yeah. Try, they try. you Almost create a roof at like ten right. feet, and but then, yeah. but then it's a it's a hip or a start of a hip roof with three slopes, coming to a square that's that? flat, okay. and that's your new well, balcony. So I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, that would be like the you know, the garden. Of the new balcony. Yes. Yes. So the guardrail of the new balcony would be smaller. It's its own piece. The garage is going to look a lot less massive. I still would like to drop the main master bedroom eave even six to eight inches just to drop that gutter line, eave line, get rid of that little gable on the right. And I think that could be a massive improvement. But then also, may, and I'm just guessing maybe if you just did a gable end on the master, you will help the interior. I don't know what it'll look like on the exterior. Um, I always bring this up is like, it's not a farmhouse, but farmhouses kind of grow over time and you see many different styles and things. So I'm not opposed if those three on the right are the style of the house and the garage master suite looks somewhat different. I think that could look, ele it, would, it would look more elegant than this. So we're trying to give you more feedback of what to do. No, no, I just and, and, and we were just talking about the garage. If you if you were to drop it a couple of feet, you're basically losing a dimension of the windows, the extra set of windows, but you still have a big blank fascia above. No, he's above. saying drop the well, he's saying drop the belt. He's, he's dropping the men's for the roof of the roof. So how so that you know oh, instead okay. of having yeah. the transom roof, and, and, and right. making the, the doors bigger, yeah. that so roof will bring it like a mushroom down. Is that going to affect the uh, the two windows though? That becomes a the, uh, the No, no, no. That's that's just going to be. Yeah. Uh, and then this is the one no, right above at the uh, at the new yeah, master no, no. bedroom. Just going to be the stairs. Yeah, they are now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so what all of all of this affects the roof instead of a what it was going to be about. And then this. Oh, no, no. is this one of the two windows? Because I see them getting four, close to the, uh, the roof. Are four. they going to be covered by the... No, they will still be. So they will still remain there. Okay. This reads as the house. Yeah. Name. It would be the same. It's just like the roof will Maybe that is it. Maybe you do an arc. I don't know. Like a bigger, like a belt. But a little bit more value. No, I just like this. And the balcony would be so good. I'm going to say, you're 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 going to say, you
Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you want to show it to them? Yeah. What? Oh, what you say on each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, I just quickly described, you know, just scribbled what I described. And I don't know if it looks good. It might not look good. But... I was going to try uh, like a raised cheddar as well as thinking, like instead of. Instead of. Around. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Yeah, sure. Well, try here, something to make a different route. This was to, to let's, you know, maybe, maybe this uh, gives you a, a balcony that's, you know, half the size, but then it's also, but you're dropping the eave six to eight inches, right? Yeah. But maybe do a gable in here, but what I'm saying here is this is all, you know, make all this look the same, you know, get rid of this eyebrow, just do that. Emphasize this, maybe give two different colors here, but then all of this is like, the addition of the farmhouse, it's just something that's added on. And I think that could look different roof. I mean, right here, right there, I think it, it kind of looks, I can see it now. The question is, do you do an eyebrow, a gable, or do you do nothing here? Is this lowering this just you know, good enough? Um, and then, you know, how do you make that look good too? So, all right, because I don't like it right now. I'll work on it. Thank you. Okay. Right. So might I just summing it up in the minutes and it's not Yeah, I'll do it now, we'll do it later. This will all be worth it. That's a big ambitious project. Yeah. It should be a good It'll be worth the extra couple weeks. It'll be nice. So the next meeting is May 17th, so I'll need everything by the time. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you thank for you. considering all this. Of course. So this is a previously approved submission back in October. This is a revised plan. Sorry, Travis. Fine. Uh, Are you the next? Yes. Yeah. You guys ready for us? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Good. 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 This was approved. Back. Again. This is what was approved. Yeah. That's the bell. Yes. Bell yeah. Exactly. This, yeah. This, this is gone in front of the store. It has. Yeah. Um. It has. It did originally, which they wrote the letter of support. Right. And then I, um, I reached out to Gray uh, Williams again uh, last week, uh, telling him that I was submitting uh, for re review here. Um, and he sent an email to Tom saying the uh, board has no affiliation with the uh, changes, which are minor in, in our opinion, but uh, necessary at this time. So where is this yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I did not include what was last approved in this submission, but um, we have it here. So, so, so the, cha- the changes are, are essentially minor. We're, we're, um, we, had, we had four windows in the back. And the larger porch with the trellis, uh, with one bay uh, as a trellis right around the corner. So we're going to eliminate one of the four windows at the top, uh-huh. and we're going to eliminate the trellis, and we're going to shorten the, um, the 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 covered porch by one bay. But we're also asking to to do the permission to do the porch as a second face, just just for budgetary reasons. So so we're going to. We're gonna do the construction on the first phase where you see which you see on the top there, and then um, build the porch hopefully sometime. Next oh, so this you're not gonna build here, okay? Right. Yeah. yeah so what's this thing up here? So phase phase one is on the top. So that, that's what we're building. That's what we're um, gonna get uh, permits now. Uh, the existing you can see on the um, photographs. Um, What's the cross? Uh, no, no, no model, no model of the existing. I just have uh, plans of what we're removing. I'm sorry. Uh, What's the cross street? The cross street uh, is across from Old uh, Old House uh, Lane. That's written right across from Old House. Okay. Yep. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the existing rear. 
right? And, and where you see the bell, so we're basically extending up to the, the to, to the wall where the bell is located, and just keeping the same shed shed roof. Oh, I know then, this house. It faces. It doesn't face. The it street. doesn't face it the street, back right? Back. It's, yeah, it's yeah. exactly. It's mm -hmm. perpendicular. Yeah. Um, to the street, but clo close to the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we just, you know, the, the idea was to kind of um, fix, I guess, the rear elevation, which mm -hmm. which was a bit of a hodgepodge of, over the years that there were numerous <laughs> things. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's sort of like a yeah, not just a just small lodge of, uh, of periods. No, but he said he's not doing a portion of this. Yeah, because you're going to build a shorter overhang, a uh, shed roof, right? Uh, Are you going to build this now, or is this like a phase two? Or that's the phase two. Phase, yeah. two. Yeah. phase, two. phase, okay. phase one is on the top. Yeah. yeah. So the, are there no changes? Is it just deletion? Yep. So yeah, there's it's, it's, one less window. So. We're, we're, do, we're doing right. one less Please. window, yeah. and we're not going to do the trellis, which well, we originally uh, and, and we're shortening right. uh, the porch by one bit. In phase so the, two. In, oh. Yeah, correct. Totally and, is that is that um, a wood shed? Is that existing? Yeah, the wood. Cutting, not changing. The cubby's not. No, that's that's going to be new. Also, yeah, we're, we're but cutting out now and, and creating this uh, uh, firewood storage. Okay. Stanley, this is that's how we go back. Oh. Oh. No, okay. 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 this is the existing. Okay. Okay. And they're just basically extending this. Correct. But the massing, you know, changing from the approval. Yeah, the flat. massing, so the massing is not changing from the approval except for the cover porch. Yeah, this is going to be. It just no up there. Mm -hmm. No, 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 for the approved yeah. project. The massing won't change except for the covered porch. Right. That's it. Exactly. And the windows. The window. And the windows. Well, yeah, I mean, the massing the remains. We're just omitting a window. Yeah. Yeah. Changing. Yeah, yeah, changing yeah. what they've approved. Right. right. Looking from what I remember, the, the, from the, picture, the front is more historically yeah. significant than the back. Correct. Yeah. So that's why Gray Williams was, was okay with these changes. Yeah, they, they really had thing. no objection with the rear, so long as it you know, kept in character, which we did. Is this, this is your house? It's my house. Your house. <laughs> <laughs> our, our house. I'm sorry. I have a roommate. <laughs> and this was an old school. Is that what this was? Uh, apparently, yeah. That's uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like Gray, Gray hasn't dug into that part of it uh, as much. How old is uh, it's it was the original built in 1760 oh, yeah. nice. with uh, with expansions uh, all the way up to 1850. And then, and then further expansions that were removed um, um, in the later years. Huh. That's nice. Yeah. 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 We love we love the house, and this is you know. Yeah, we wanna, it's, we it's keep very the pretty. Whenever I pass it, I love the color. <laughs> uh, and now this this picture is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The morning light is great on the front. Okay. Okay. Yes, we're going to have all the glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we really Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night.